So basically I'm trying to get my equipment for the <laughs> for the jollof. Yeah, my ingredients, I mean, it's just a joke. My ingredients for the jollof. Uh, it's just basic stuff. If you don't know how to prepare, you need tomato, onions, if you like some garlic and some ginger, those kind of stuff to spice everything up. And yeah, I think that's, that's okay. If you have those things, it's fine. You have your meat or your chicken. I'm using meat, beef, and uh, the rest of the things you prefer. So I'm at the meat shop now. I'm getting some boneless. keep it short so I'm gonna stop the talking and show you everything so maybe I'll just fast forward when I get home after I've bought everything and then we start cooking all right tomato oh need 10 Diana we so I have my garlic, I have my onions, um, some of the garlic already in the blender. I have the ginger in water so that the skin can be easily peeled off, you know. So yeah, these are basically the things I use. Ginger mostly because I like it. Uh, and then for garlic and onion, you know, they are just the basics for all these things. They also give it taste, you know. So after blending everything together, this is how it looks like, you know. I think maybe the ginger didn't blend well, so I'll pour it out and check if it's underneath. But if it's not, then it's fine. But if it is, then I have to do it manually and, you know, get rid of it, smoothing it out. Put my meat with some um, onions already, and then I pour my solution. It can be as watery as possible. Everything was okay. So I like it this way so that it will soak into the meat. <clears throat> yeah, so so after you do all that, you let it um, simmer for a while. You know, you steam it. That's, that's the normal thing we say, you steam it. So I'll leave it for some minutes, let it you know, soak into the meat and everything like that. Whilst I start taking care of the rice and the tomatoes and stuff like that. So one way I like to prepare my uh, meats and stuff is um, when I buy the meat, I let it soak in water for a while because of the blood and everything. I leave it in water for as long as I want you know for everything to drip out or to soak into the water then i pour it i give it another set of you know i pour another one and let it soak the blood out and then i, I mean, you can do it like three times you can wash it like three times and then everything I me mean, i let it sit i don't just wash it i let it sit in the water and then everything will come out so i don't know i didn't read it anyway i don't know what it means but i just do it that way so that i feel okay about it um, so at this stage, I just add my um, tomato, onions, and blend it for the the stew. You know, you have to kind of prepare a stew, then you put the rice in it and all those things, and then it turns into jollof. So this is the base for the stew. All right. So I have to. You have to decide what you want. Do you want a lot of fresh tomatoes or you want? Um, a lot of the paste, tomato paste. I, I, I use both, you, you have to use both, but the more of the other will change the taste. So if you have a lot of tomato than the paste, the change, I mean, there will be a change in the taste. The same way when you use more um, tomato paste than the fresh tomato is gonna change the taste. So it's really about, you know, how you want it. And you have to try, you have to test new things. I like different things at different times. So it depends on sometimes what I have in stock. If I don't have 
um, a lot of fresh tomatoes then I might just use a lot of the tomato paste and this gives it a lot of the color you know jollof has to look more reddish and all that so the paste gives it a lot of that color then yeah so as many as you want uh, you know after you allow it to simmer for a while I like I like to add a lot of water so that I I like to use this one for the jollof you know the stock for the jollof so that's why I add a lot of water to it but yeah after you're done after it simmers or it, it, it cooks or whatever you ouch I like ow <clears throat> so I like to fry it a bit mm. So as everything is going on, I like to, you know, the stock is ready, the meat is frying. I want to just start with the jollof, I mean the rice itself. So chop some onions into the oil and at this time I think the meat is fine. It's not deep frying so I mean you can't get all the parts brown like you want. So I'll just take it out of the fire. So once the oil is hot enough, you just add your thing so that mm, I bent I bent the onions. I, I left it a bit longer. So ah shit. <laughs> but yeah, so you let the blended tomato and onion also um, cook so that it gets out the water. So it's time to add the rice and for today I want to try this Ghana rice. I really don't know the name. Um, I can't see, you know, the branding is bad, you know, as usual. But um, this rice, I got it from the Volta region. I went to shoot a documentary for a company on some rice farmers. And this is what the rice farmers <clears throat> gave me. And you see, I've finished, I've finished a lot, you know. But most times I use it for... I use it for um, rice water and stuff like that. This is the first time I'm trying it for jollof. They told me it's good for rice water, but I mean, maybe it might go wrong, maybe it might go right. I don't have any other rice. This is what I have, so I want to use it. It's Ghana made, you know, you can try it. It's very good with the rice water, it's very good. This is my first time trying it for jollof, so let's see how it goes. I can't get the name. I don't know if you can see it, but that's it it's very bad the branding you need to brand ghana stuff you know charlie so now my rice is washed and ready everything is ready to be put in the stew but first i want to add the tomato paste to the stew all right so it's kind of um dry the water is out so I mean, I really don't have any measurement. It depends on, I mean, Charlie, how how um, how do I say it? How red I want my jollof. And yeah, I just take that much. I just press it. You know, any amount that comes is fine. You just add a bit to it. Oh yeah, because I'm holding the camera in one hand and all that. I can't really do it well. So yeah, just a bit. If you are using the small tin tobacco, maybe two. Uh, something like that, I guess. So yeah. Drop it. Mm. And then yeah. You mix it. You know. You fry the thing, you know. You mix it, let it blend. Hey, today they're my bro for camo. Hey. <laughs> Let it blend. Open mix it at the end. You go for top of it. At this point, you you see that it's quite um, fried. You know, ash. 
you know, it's quite fried. So this is where you add your spices and stuff like that. You know, the whole idea is like you're preparing the normal stew and then you're going to add your rice to it. So at this stage, you add your spices. I, I mean, it's been a while since I, I, I came to the kitchen. So all my spices are expired. This is the only one I have and I think it has everything. Six pepper, seasoning, blend, something, something. So yeah, I just add, you know, as much as you want. I think that's fine. It's fine. And then, normally I like to use like onga or stuff like that. Onga, the chicken flavor or something. I mean, onga is nice. The smell is good. So, but I don't have it. It's expired. Look, the onga I have here is expired. I tear it off. All these things, I don't remember the last time I touched them. I need to clear it. So yeah, this is the only one I have, so I add it. Mm, I think we'll give it some, some punch, you know? Yeah. So from here, um, you, can, you can go any other route you want. I can add the stock at this time if I want. I can add the rice if I want, you know? I can even add the meat if I want. Anything, you, it's just mixing. So you decide what you want. And with practice, you would know which one works for you better. All right, so I don't know which route to go. At this point, I let it fry a bit. And then we'll see. Maybe I'll add the rice. And then later the stock, something, I don't know. So I just added the rice to the stew. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. It looks, you know, like, like, uh, Cotton, cotton. I mean, if you are not Ghanaian and you are listening to this, I'm sorry for using some Ghanaian terms, but yeah, it looks like Charlie. I don't know how to say cotton, cotton. <laughs> so yeah, I want to let it fry a bit. This rice is quite tricky. I've not used it before, but I mean, if you use it for rice water, it's 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 it too. You can't say cry. It's it inflates. <laughs> it will it will soak the water and kind of multiply, you know? Yeah, that kind of thing. So I have to be very careful um, how it will act with the jollof. I have to add the water gradually so that I don't get like some mushy mushy jollof. And that's the stock. I've not even added it yet. So I want this to fry a bit and then um, I'll add the stock and then uh, I'll add water as and when it becomes dry and all that. You need to fill it and see if it's soft or you know if the rice is cooked and that kind of stuff. But if you're using perfume rice and those kind of stuff, you just pour it and you know it won't it won't inflate a lot. <laughs> Excuse my language, but Charlie, that's how I can explain it. So yeah. You let it cook for a while and then you add the stock. So at this point I've added everything. I just put the stock inside and I added the meat too. You know, I added it quite early because I want the meat to kind of soak the the spices, you know, some of the spices so that they kind of taste uniform. Or else like the meat will have different tastes and all that i don't like it that way so this is how i like it you can choose to keep it out when you finish everything and you serve your rice then you add your meat that's that's another style but i like to add it so that it kind of soaks everything together and blends you know so at this point i've not added any extra water everything is from the stew and then the stock so I might just add some water depending on how fast the rice cooks. If everything dries and the rice is still hard, then I need to add a bit more water. But if it cooks and you know the rice is soft, then it means it's, it's almost done. So I don't have to add any extra water. So yeah, maybe I'll just add a, a cup or something so that everything will blend fine. And some salt. I've not added salt from the beginning. 
so I'll just add salt and some water to make everything perfect and then I'll leave it to cook so so see I'm sorry I'm sorry I can't give measurements and all those things but you know I add maybe this kind of it's a tea cup or something you know just that kind of water I don't know maybe it might be too much or maybe not but yeah you just go with the flow I don't know these things for me it's, it's just like art you know Charlie you shake gum you put a gum and then it will cook so I mean if you want to do it and you want measurements and all that I think you can find it on other other pages or if you google something you can find it but for me everything has to do with taste and preference and what you see you know you have to test the rice if it's soft enough if it's hard then it shows you how much water you need to add all these things you, it can be measured you know I can't I can't do the science part this is art for me so now everything looks uniform you know and there's a bit more water than first it's even now the water is kind of soaking into the rice and the meat so maybe i'll need to add more water but i want it to cook for a bit before because jollof is very tricky so you need to take your time with the water you don't want it soft and like um, 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 if anything or mutu you know yeah so let's leave it this way for a while let it cook let it soak into the rice all right we'll get back and check how it looks like but you need to be stirring it once a while because the i don't know there's something about jollof it, it likes to stick but this is a non-stick bowl so it won't stick properly but you just need to check the under once a while you know you check it and make sure it's not burning so yeah that's it point um the water is dried and everything looks almost ready you know but what you have to do is check the rice if it's soft enough like if you need to add more water to get it soft then you do so but it looks okay because there's a bit of oil there's a bit of you know water by the rice so i think by the time everything dries up the the rice will be cooked now it's not actually cooked let me taste it mm yeah it's still kind of hard just a bit so i think the water left or the oil left by it can do justice to it so i'll cover it with some napkin or anything and let it cook for a while but you have to just check it and stir it so that it doesn't burn too much all right so at this point i i want to add just some few things so um some fried plantain is ready I'll just fry it and use it as some you know I'll use it to boss to boss the jollof you know that yeah well everything looks perfect you know I'm yet to fry the plantain and the rice looks okay and what else I have pear so maybe I'll just add pear so yeah some small jollof with some meat some um, plantain and then pear i think that's fine I'm, I'm 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 trying to go on some low carb diet low carbohydrate carbohydrate sorry low carbohydrate diet so I'm, I'm 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 not supposed to be eating rice actually but because today is my binge day i have to i can eat whatever i want so that's why i'm doing the love today so yeah but i'm still trying to stay within the required things to eat except for the rice you know so yeah i'm still okay ube okay ube okay <laughs> my plantain is <clears throat> almost done you know, i like it this way i don't want it to brown too much and the jollof is also almost ready um, i might just transfer the bowl this bowl is too big <laughs> so yeah that's it it will be done in a minute so yeah, this is the process and if you have any questions, you let me know. So I changed the bowls and this one looks quite okay, you know, and the plantain is almost, almost ready, it's almost done. I might just take it out now. You have to find some napkin to cover your jollof so that 
it will just you know simmer for a while it's all it's, it's done i mean you can eat it at this point but i just want to cover so this is our finished food this is how everything looks like the jollof is quite mm, it's not the way i want it the rice is quite different so it, it didn't yeah, if anything it didn't do one 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 you know it's kind of mashed up but yeah it's still it's still okay yeah and my plantain my pear avocado and then the meat so yeah it's quite easy to prepare you know just just practice 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 and you'll be fine this is for guys you know guys this is just for guys everybody can do it there's no formula to cooking there's no right or wrong way just make it happen so thanks for watching thanks for um, learning how to prepare the Ghanaian jollof from me well it's good i mean it looks good it's i'm hungry i've not eaten the whole day and you know i've been cooking and cooking went to the market and yeah. so i'm going to do justice to this i'm not gonna hurt your feelings by showing you how it goes down i'm just gonna say bye bye now if you have any questions about anything you let me know and if you have any better way of doing something i've done you let me know if there are terms i didn't use right you want to share with me let me know i mean i'm here to learn too so as we have fun we also try to learn so have a nice day sorry i've not been able to update us um regularly as possible you know since i switched from the daily vlog to this weekly thing it, it looks more difficult for me i don't know why the daily vlogs were going easy for me but now that i have to switch back to the weekly one is quite difficult i'm feeling too lazy because I, I i have so many things going on and you know it's kind of difficult to put things together and you know shuffle that shadow but it's gonna it's gonna come on it's gonna come on. i'm gonna try once a week i have to try i have no excuse so stay tuned you'll get more every week so thanks for watching and peace